Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all a little bit about my experience with getting allergy shots for the first time, a little bit about what they are and how it went for me. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Allergy shots, or also known as immunotherapy, are injections that you get in the back of your arms that help you with the treatment of your allergy symptoms or they can get rid of your symptoms altogether. Now allergy shots are not for food allergies, they're specifically for environmental allergies like indoor outdoor allergies, aller allergies to trees, grasses, things like that, not for celiac disease or food allergies. So what the allergy shot is, is literally what you are allergic to made into a serum that they inject into your arm. So for me, they'll take the allergen from the Bermuda grass, make it into a serum, and that's one of the parts of the serum that goes into my arm. I personally get three shots. So I get two in my left arm and one in my right. And after you get the shots, you wait in the allergist office for 30 minutes to make sure that you don't go into anaphylaxis. So the first 30 minutes after getting the shot is when you're the most susceptible to getting allergic reactions to the serum. Common side effects of getting allergy shots are redness, inflammation, and itchiness at the injection site, coughing, sneezing, and having an itchy and tight throat. You usually get allergy shots for a duration of up to three to five years, and that really slowly helps you build up your tolerance to the allergens. So at my first appointment, which I had just this past Tuesday, they started me off at 0.1 cc's per shot. Again, like I said, I get three shots, so that was my first amount, and then when I go to get my second appointment done, which is I'm gonna do tomorrow, they're gonna up it to 0.2 cc per shot. So that way, again, I'll get three shots, 0.2 cc's, and they build up. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 for your first five appointments, and then I'll get the next serum, next bottle of serum, which is a different color, and then they go one, two, three, four, five, so on, so forth, until you get to the maintenance level vial, which you get once every 28 days instead of going once a week, or you can go more often than that. Like my nurse said this past Tuesday, I could get allergy shots again on Thursday. As long as there's 24 hours in between the day you got the shot and then you have a full 24 hours in between and then the next day you can get another shot. So you can go that frequently, but they want you to go at least once a week when you're starting the buildup until you get to that maintenance level. I believe if I'm saying this correctly that there are going to be 25 shots up until I get to that maintenance level because I believe that there are five um, shots worth of serum within the vials and there are five vials total. So now I'll get into a little bit about what getting an allergy shot was like for me personally. This is just my personal experience. Everyone's experience is going to be a little bit different. Everyone's body is different. Everyone reacts differently. I know I have a very hypersensitive body. I react to the smallest things. So my reaction is not going to be the same as your reaction, but I can give you hopefully a little bit of insight into the allergy shot process and what it was like for me so that if you're considering getting allergy shots, you have a little bit of knowledge of what it could be like for you. So I went in, like I said, just this past Tuesday, which was two days ago, and I got my first allergy shot. So I just signed in at the office and then they called me back to the little nurse's station where they give the allergy shots. And they gave me two shots in my left arm and one shot in my right. It was a tiny little needle. It, I mean, it was just like a regular shot. It didn't really hurt at all. Except for when they got kind of close to my armpit, that did hurt. <laughs> Overall, the allergy shot itself was no big deal. So they just make sure that I wasn't bleeding because I can't use any band-aids because I'm allergic to the adhesive. And then I waited in the office for 30 minutes. So during that 30 minutes, I just sexed it with my husband who was waiting for me out in the car with our puppies and just kind of waited it out. At that point, 
I really didn't feel any issues at all. My throat didn't itch. My, it didn't feel, my throat didn't feel that tightening feeling like anaphylaxis. I didn't really have any symptoms except that I noticed that my arms were getting very itchy like I had big mosquito bites on my arms. So I was really pretty good until about noon. Now I went and got my shots at about 9.30 on Tuesday morning. So about 12 o'clock came around and it was like all of the sudden, I don't know if part of the serum just kind of kicked in, but instantly my throat got super itchy, really tight feeling, and it came on fast. So I went ahead and I took a couple of Benadryl at the first sign of it because I'm like, I do not want this to get worse. So I went ahead and I took some Benadryl and I'm not gonna lie, it was a really tough day. Throughout the rest of the day, I had to keep taking Benadryl um, every four hours to help my throat itchiness and tightness because it was pretty severe. I also had um, a small rash that popped up on my leg from the shots and I also had pretty severe pain in my arms, specifically my left one at the injection site. And like I said, they were very, very itchy. So on Tuesday, a pretty exhausting day just a lot of physical struggle, but it was also a mental struggle for me because having any kind of throat tightness, itchiness, brings on a lot of anxiety and stress for me because I've gone through anaphylaxis before. It's any kind of feeling like that just stresses me out. Um, so it was a stressful day. It was an exhausting day, but I got through it. And so the next morning I woke up and I didn't have to take any Benadryl that whole day, which was great. My arms were still pretty sore, but not nearly as bad as they were on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I could feel the pain without even touching it. And if I did happen to touch my arm, it really hurt. But like I said, Wednesday morning, I didn't have to take any Benadryl. I was pretty good, except that my throat was scratchy and dry and it hurt. And I sounded like a man. <laughs> So, but other than that, it was not bad yesterday. I still had some of the symptoms. The majority of the throat itchiness and tightness went away. My arms were improving. My throat just hurt and I was also still coughing. I don't remember if I mentioned that on Tuesday. I was also coughing quite a bit just from that itchy throat feeling. That was pretty manageable yesterday and today I'm waking up feeling quite a bit better. My arms don't hurt at all. I don't see any redness. They're not itchy anymore. My throat's fine. It feels pretty much like a normal day. So I think that pretty much covers it. I'm going to go back to the allergist, like I said, tomorrow and get a bigger amount. A little anxious about that just because it's double the amount and I know I had a really rough day on Tuesday. So we'll see how that goes, but I hope this helps you all out a little bit if you're interested in getting allergy shots. I'm still hopeful that these will be an improvement in my health in the long run. I've just got to push through it and give it a good go and really hope that this makes a difference and that it's all worth it in the end. It's really not terrible. Um, and like I said, my body is highly, highly reactive to smells, scents, fragrances, smoke, like pretty much anything you can imagine that a body could be sensitive, my body is sensitive to those things. So just because I had a fairly severe reaction on Tuesday does not mean that you will. Most people, which is not advised by the staff that work at the allergist, but they would come in, get their shot and leave right away. They wouldn't even stay in the office for that 30 minutes, but it's probably just because they don't have any reaction to it. So they don't feel the need to stick around. I still would. And they recommend that you should just in case you do happen to have a reaction. But like I said, might not be as bad for you as it was for me because I'm so reactive. But anyway, I know it's kind of a short and sweet video, but I wanted to give you all the information on how everything went, and I hope that it's helpful for you if you're interested in allergy shots. Keep watching the series that I'm going to do on allergy shots and how everything's going for me. I'm gonna keep an update on how everything's going and if my health improves over time, so you can see the benefits, the pros and cons to allergy shots. So anyway, that is it for today. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this or if you have any questions, please feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, feel free to like this video, share it, and also please subscribe to my channel so you can see all my new content and see more of my informational videos and more of my fun gluten-free hair and makeup tutorials as well since I do a little bit of a mix of both. I try to get the information side of allergies and gluten and kind of the things you should know. How to find gluten-free body care, hair care, makeup items, how to use it and how to have fun and still look good and feel good about yourself and use gluten-free products. Again, please subscribe. Feel free to share the video and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!